This entitled Karen is about to attack this police officer in the most brutal way possible and be forced to face the consequences. Get out of here! Get the... Hey, 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 let me go. But that's just one of five examples of when stupid Karens try to fight cops and learn why you should never mess with the law. Starting with the case of Jenny Rose Saunders, who was found on April 26, 2022, driving a car with a suspended registration. However, when a local officer went to confront her about this, she decided to give them a night they wouldn't forget. How are you, man? Officer Balls are Scott's place. Please, your license registration insurance? Yeah, thank you. I, I, I'm you have your license, I, yeah. your license registration insurance? Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. I need your license. Ma'am, your license, registration, and insurance. If you don't comply, I will break the window and you will be placed under arrest. Do you understand that? In typical Karen fashion, she starts by being as awkward as physically possible and refuses to talk to the cops. If this is all that this case entailed, then it'd be just another day in the life for these officers. But this was just the start of an extremely dangerous and shocking situation. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that step I'm safe. Step out of the vehicle. You are safe. Stop. I, I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. Don't trap my arm. Don't trap my Hey, ma'am, lower the window. You're gonna hurt this officer. Lower your window. Ma'am, lower, lower the your window. window with your other arm. Ma'am, lower, lower your window. window with your other arm. This officer is now trapped and unable to move. But that doesn't seem to concern the woman. And instead of winding down the window and complying with orders, she decides to escalate things even further. You are now under arrest. Ma'am, you are now under arrest. Ma'am, lower the window. You are now under. Stop. Ma'am, lower the window. Ma'am, lower the window. Oh, Ma'am, lower the window. Stop it. Send an additional unit. Get out of the car. Why? You're arrest now. Why? 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 Stop what ordering. did I do? Can you tell me what I did, you guys? You're arrested for aggravated assault against a police officer. Can, Can you tell up? me what I did? I'm under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Turn around. 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 How is there aggravated assault? Could you please tell me? Karens like this always seem to have a major case of selective hearing and only choose to listen to things that benefit them. Initially, this was just a simple traffic law stop and could have even been a misunderstanding or a false flag. But her violence and ignorance landed her with an assault charge and the bill for a broken window. Pat her down real quick. Yeah, search her now. Serious right now? Yeah, you're under arrest. Do you have a mother? Do you have a sister? We're past that already. You're under arrest for aggravated assault. He told you multiple times to lower your window, open the door, and then when he put that, put his arm through your window and you raised the, intentionally raised the window and then hurt this officer, now you're under arrest for aggravated assault. Plus, you are accusing me of something I did not do. You're not. Right you're under arrest. What the fuck do you know we have here? Are you guys serious you right now? Right Step into the vehicle and um, watch your head. Yeah, so can I? Step into the vehicle and watch your head. Perhaps the most shocking part of this case is that this woman isn't drunk and she's not on drugs. She's just high on entitlement and displaying only the worst symptoms. So you're not giving me any chance to retrieve my stuff or make sure my things are okay? Stay there. Why? You're not going to tell me why I was pulled over to begin with? Ma'am, watch your foot. Watch your foot. You explain everything. Just watch your foot. No, you're not, you're not explaining. And things don't change back at the station either. You guys play hide. Put your hands against the wall. On the wall. On them. I really do not right, want to Do you want to get obstruction too? Are you they're they're not following instructions is your they're problem. They're on the wall. No, they're not. They're not touching. Put Are you clean them? Put them on the wall. Are and I'm not going to tell you again. So could you clean it for me, please? Do you? No. Oh, okay. your hands on the wall. I'm, I'm putting them on the wall. Ma'am, I'm not going to have They're not moving. You. They're not moving. Play I'm sure you. I don't want your shirt. Can I, I want. No, I put your hands on the wall now. I need I'm not asking you a question. Can I pee? Place your arms on the wall. If I have to hold them, I will Can hold I them. Can I When I'm done. Yes. Wow. Wow. If somebody could just, you know, listen, it would be so hard, right? It would be done already. I'm so sorry that you have such a f life, because I do too. But Jesus, you picked the wrong job. Yeah, I picked the wrong job.
Thankfully, Jenny Rose was taught a harsh lesson when she was charged with aggravated assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, and obstruction of justice. It was also quickly discovered that she had an active warrant out for her arrest in New Jersey and a fugitive warrant out in Pennsylvania. This clearly wasn't the first time Jenny Rose had been on the wrong side of the law, but at least she didn't lash out at the cops in the same way this next Karen did. In the morning of May 26, 2023, a janitor had asked this woman to leave the bathroom so he could enter and clean everything. But the woman got extremely aggressive with the janitor, arguing and shouting profanities at him. Cops were called, and this is the extremely strange and violent interaction that followed. You got ID on us? No. You don't? No, where am I? Why do I need to give you my ID? Because I'm conducting an investigation. I'm going to report you when I get done. Give okay, you the what's information your name? That I, um, I need and I'm, I'm putting this. I'm telling What's your name? Feminist. Despite her reluctance to give it up, the cops soon learned her name was Maya and that she was far from pleased with the events of that morning, already claiming that she was going to report this officer just seconds into the interaction. And as you may expect, her unsatisfyingly stale demeanor wouldn't stop here. All right, ma'am, you can lose that or I'll just put you in handcuffs. You can do what you gotta do. You're not in control here, ma'am. Yes, I am. So, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can lower your voice, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs and take you to jail for disorderly conduct. I'm going to inform you of some city ordinances, such as we have a no camping in the city of Key West. Essentially, if you have a barrier between yourself and the ground and or your personal elements, that is camping. It does not matter if you're asleep or not. If you're caught camping, from this point forward, you can and will be arrested. The cop then politely informs Maya of a few laws pertinent to her current situation, as she seems to be camping in the local parks, which in the city of Key West is illegal. But predictably, she takes offense to this as well and threatens to send the video she took of this simple interaction to her lawyer. So if you turn around and film this, I did. I gave, that, nope. I gave that to my lawyer. Ma'am, stop. Ma'am, I'm only going to tell you one more time not to raise I'm your voice yelling. to me. This is how I, I have not speak. yelled at you. So don't I have ask not me any questions because this, this is not my talk. Ma'am, last warning. I'm just going to put you in handcuffs. You're not going to yell at me. You're not going to scream at me. You need to turn around and film the rules and regulations of all the parks and city beaches because if you break any of those city ordinances, you can and will be arrested. Here's your identification. All these warnings will be annotated. Well, that's not very nice. That's very rude, actually. Unfortunately, Maya didn't find this particularly funny and actually took so much offense that she decided to call 911 despite the cops' goodwill in letting her go. This prompted them to track her down just minutes after sending her on her way for another, more serious discussion. Put your phone down. Put your bag down. They're arresting me now. Turn around, face the wall, put your hands behind your back. I'm arresting you for misuse of 911. You do not have a legitimate emergency and you have two police officers standing in front of Let's you. Let's go so I can report you. Stop. Face the wall. Don't touch me. I do not want you patting me down or anything. I like. don't care. That's not how this works. Do not touch me. Ma'am, stop. You're not getting in my vehicle unless I search you. So you need to call a I, female. Do not. not you touch works. me. That is not how If you works. touch me, I swear yeah. to God, I'm going to kick, I'm going to fight. I swear to God. Separate your feet. No, you not touching me. Ma'am. You not touching me. Grab the car. The car. Stop me. Get off of me. I got a you need to stop. In fairness, she did warn them, and as the cops said, that's just not how this works. Maya is delivering a masterclass in how to turn what was initially just a simple discussion into a litany of criminal charges, and there was actually even more to this scuffle than meets the eye. No, I did not bite yep. you. I did not f***ing bite you. Did I bite what is that? That did not, I did not do that. All over. You lying. Right there. You squirt me, and I do have injuries. Damn. You see that shit? Don't play down. with me. Ma'am? You threw me to the ground like a you man. You tried to Get elbow down. me. You can't because you tried to touch my down. vagina. Stop. Get the Do from not. over me like this. Do not. Get off of me. Stop. If you spray me up, that's more. Well, you've already elbowed me, bit him. Because you tried to touch my vagina. Nobody tried to touch And you did vagina, not get elbowed. You lying now. You okay. trying to make okay. the situation worse. But I got it on camera. 
And so do we. Maya bit, kicked, slapped, and elbowed these cops in the takedown, and she's trying to claim that they were being abusive to her. Eventually, a second set of officers arrived on the scene to assess the situation. And would you believe it? She continued to act violent and disorderly, and was taken into custody on two counts of battery on a cop, one of resisting arrest, and another of misusing 911. Maya was definitely old enough to know better, but it's almost more disappointing to see an 18-year-old act the same way. This girl was pulled over after multiple calls were received, alerting police to what seemed like a heavily impaired driver. Apparently, she was swerving around the road, driving into oncoming traffic, and had even hit multiple things with her car. Yeah? yeah. What kind of errands are you running? You know, grocery shopping, killing bills, just adult, adult things. So where were you coming from? I am, um, on the way to pick up on my friend, and I don't like doing things by myself because I have anxiety, so I like people coming on rides with me. So I was gonna go pick her up so I can but it seemed like a friend wasn't the only anxiety alleviance that this girl needed on her trip to complete all of her adult tasks, as the cops immediately spotted several suspiciously rectangular pills on the front seat. We need to pretty much stay simple here. Ma'am, is your ID in your purse? Yes, it is. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, I said I'll get it. Stand over there at the end of your car. Do you hear me? Okay, but if you were more respectful about it, if I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, if we're all humans here, if you were more respectful about it, I'm just Where's your idea? at? Is it in uh, here? Can I look for my wallet? Well, like, why oh, are you I got it. for my wallet? If the thing is, that's my property. You have no choice. Actually... I do, because I found freaking Xanax bars on your driver's seat. If you want to explain something, explain those. Girl, the fact that you get to look through my stuff. Yeah. They were in plain view. Yep. That makes it as the interaction continues, the girl seems to become more and more incoherent and confused. It's almost like she knows the pennies dropped and starts to become more and more confrontational. Would you like to sit down on the grass over there? I can sit down in my car? No, you cannot. What if I just have, like, hands up everything? No. You're not getting back in your car. You can sit on the grass over there, or we can sit in the back of this car here, whichever one you prefer. Okay? I'm going to get my phone. No, you're not. You're staying oh, right here. Okay, but why can't I get my phone to, like, at least have. You're my not getting own back in that paper. car until they're done. Okay, but I feel like I should be able to. It's my right to, like, record anything that's happening in Everything's my life. being recorded right here. I know, but why can't I for Myself. You're not going back in that car. But why can't I you can request this courting. You can come with me to my car. My phone hey. is right on that seat. One of y'all can come to me to that seat to get my car. Unfortunately for her, the cops have now had enough of her rambling and decide to get down to business. And we get the pleasure of seeing her try to explain away everything. Has your car always been like that in the front? Yes, I have. Um. Yeah, honestly... What happened first? Okay, see this part of my car? I do. Um, one day I came back from work, like, just like, was like, getting off and shit. Mm -hmm. That was missing. No clue how it was missing. When I got here, I saw your demeanor, your actions, and all that stuff, okay? I'm looking at your pupils, I'm looking at your eyes, and I think that you might be on the influence of some type of narcotic. Not alcohol, but I believe in narcotic. Are you serious? Okay. Um, so based off of what I'm seeing so far, would you be willing to do a pill sobriety test to dispel my suspicions that you're under the influence of any type of narcotic? It's never a good idea to decline these tests, but with how terribly the girl performed in them, she'd probably have a better chance of testing her luck in court. As you may expect, she was quickly put in handcuffs, and that's when her behavior went from dazed to dangerous. You want to choke?
with the delirious girl finally secured in the back seat, the only danger left now is to the sanity of the officer made to drive her back to the station. Last time one of you guys took me to the mental hospital, my grandparents could not find me for weeks! Okay, and you officers were like, oh, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna say this is all, but all you guys do is Never. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun ride out there. Wait. Yeah. Man, I can still hear her screaming. I can still hear her. Jeez. Unfortunately, it's unknown what she was charged with, but it's likely amounted to a DUI and resisting. Lastly, though, the only place more common to see a Karen than screaming at cops is at an airport screaming at cops. At Salt Lake City International Airport, this woman had just been informed that she'd have to give up her aisle seat and instead take one in the middle, a reasonable request with many possible causes, but it ended up causing her to go absolutely ballistic and giving us one of the most hilarious Karen freakouts of all time. I told them, then the girl let me sit where I wanted to sit, yeah, right and then okay. they hey, took hey, me I'll off talk. the plane. Okay. But I walked sure. off okay. allowing. They hey. did not arrest me. They did not handcuff me. Hey, they did not to, touch me to get off the plane. What's going on? So nobody, that, that, they need to let me either, they need to buy me a hotel ticket and get me okay. back to New York, or they need to let me aboard the plane. If she wants to get back on the plane, then she's going to have to calm down first. Airlines like these value customer comfort more than anything and reserve every right to refuse boarding. There's a reality where this woman calms down, apologizes, and accepts her middle seat fate. But that'd be too simple for a Karen like this. Your behavior, okay? My behavior? Yeah. Okay, There's I got a plane for the aisle seat. They gave me an E, which is a m middle C. Right. That is not what I paid ID? for. Do you have your ID? What does that have to do with anything? Because right now the police are here. We're going to find out the who, the why, the what. So I just need to know okay, who well, you, you are. Okay, well, you better. Yeah, let's go have a seat right. over there. Let's come over here. Now, so that let's go have a seat over there. <laughs> All right, well, you better get me a f***ing hotel. Now, sit down. Now. Okay. Now. Sit now, down. I would like to hear what people are saying. Just have a seat. You can have a conversation. I'm allowed to hear you know what? what they are saying. Right there, I'm going to catch nicely. up with you. Okay. How is that the nice? What have I done? They, they have tried yeah. to work with me by taking me off the plane? That's why Officer Cross, listen to me. He's gonna go what have I done on the plane? Well, I would like to side. ask you what I have done on the plane. Her behavior is slowly becoming more and more combative, and she's going from annoyed to angry, prompting the cops to become defensive and put her back in her place. You're gonna be I don't live here! I live in New York! Well, Good. Okay. Delta Dude, he was paying for my ticket. You're gonna have to. You got refunded. I got refunded for go. to live in Utah. Yeah, we're gonna walk out because I don't are not live here. Passenger. I don't know anyone here. You're if anything, I need passenger. to get a ride back to New York. Delta is denying you service, okay? Delta Airlines, a private company, is denying you service. Why, go though? Because you guys denied me service. Why? You don't even know why. Okay, let's so you walk better out. get me a flight back Grab to New bag. York. Okay. I don't live in Utah. Jacqueline, I've never Jacqueline, been here. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Dude, walk out. We can, we can work on you. Where am I going to go? I can answer those questions, but we're going to walk no, out. No, I don't want to go anywhere. Where am I going to go to Utah? Her frustration is somewhat understandable as she's now stuck in a state she doesn't know with nowhere to go, but she's only making it worse by acting this way. And there's only one way this can go. You keep doing this yelling, we're gonna look at criminal charges, okay? Disorderly conduct. Dude, is, this is on you though! This is not on me, okay? Yeah, this you is caused, on you! You caused a disturbance, they have deep plane. No, I did not cause a disturbance! Jacqueline? They told me I would get an aisle! Jacqueline? Jacqueline? All right, dude, they give me my aisle. Come here. Give come me here. my I don't do Let's go train Stop! Your hands behind your back. Stop! I don't live in you! Stop resisting. Hands behind your back. I don't live in you! Hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Hands behind your back. Oh, I live in Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Hands behind your back. Let me just go home. Let me just go home. Let me just go home. No! Jackie. 
Stop, Stop resisting! Ow. Stop resisting, Ow. Put your Ow. hand behind your back. Me. Stop he resisting. Where's your car, sir? Get up. Right there. This arrest might be a blessing in disguise for the woman, though, as at least now she won't have to worry about finding accommodation because she'll be spending the night behind bars.